Thank you for joining this quick best practices screencast brought to you by Salesforce support. In this video, we're going to review some best practices for using multi-factor authentication, abbreviated as MFA, in Marketing Cloud. If you're not already using MFA, you are contractually required to enable it by February 1, 2022. First, let's make sure that MFA-related IP addresses are on your email system's allow list, so verification emails get delivered to your inbox promptly and don't get delayed or blocked. Then, to reduce the chance of you getting locked out, we'll walk through how to register a second MFA verification method so you have a backup option. Finally, we'll look at setting up a second administrator so they can help you regain access to your account in the event you lose access to your MFA methods. Let's start by making sure that your email provider does not delay or block the initial MFA setup verification email from Salesforce. Visit Salesforce Help via the link in the description below for a current list of the Marketing Cloud IP addresses used for MFA verification communications. Note that there may be stack-specific IP addresses listed and other IPs that apply to all stacks, so be sure to note both sets of IPs to ensure your tenant is covered. Contact your email system administrator or IT support and ask that they add these IP addresses to their allow list in their email system. This will ensure that MFA verification communications are delivered to your inbox promptly in order to permit MFA setup. Now, let's register a second verification method so you have a backup. Once logged into Marketing Cloud, hover over your username in the upper right corner and click Cloud Preferences. Scroll down if necessary and look for the multi-factor authentication section. Click Register next to the method that you would like to set up and continue to follow the on-screen instructions until complete. Registering an additional verification method allows you to continue to log into your account in the event that you lose access to your primary method. Finally, since only admin users in your account can reset MFA, Salesforce cannot do it on your behalf. We'll walk through how to set up a second admin so they can help you if you lose access to your MFA methods. Note that this step may not be necessary if you already have other active admin users in your account. Once logged into Marketing Cloud, hover over your username in the upper right corner and click Setup. Now, below your username, click the Create button and choose New User. Follow the on-screen steps to complete new user creation. Ensure you select the roles of Administrator and Marketing Cloud Administrator for this user. Once created, have this new user log into their Marketing Cloud account and register at least two MFA verification methods, as previously explained. In the event that one of your admin users is unable to log in because they lost their MFA methods, you can revoke their enrolled methods and they can re-register for MFA. To do this, navigate to Setup, Users, Users. Click the affected user, and then click the Revoke link next to each of their registered MFA methods. Once all methods have been revoked, the user will be able to register a new method the next time they log in. Setting up multi-factor authentication will greatly increase the security of your Marketing Cloud tenant. And following these best practices will set you up for success in maintaining access to your account. For more information, go to help.salesforce.com. Watch this video, Introduction to Salesforce Authenticator, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.